Hey guys, I'm Tess Pride and welcome to my Vintage Stuff Pack review. This one's going to be the first one which is going over the Krasim items and build mode items. I will also have a second one coming out that will be gameplay and going all over all the gameplay items and the butler and just all that fun stuff. Sorry this is a little bit late. I was technically still on a break when this came out and I don't know exactly when this will be coming out at this point because right now it's like Friday and I don't have that long to record right now and then I have Christmas party stuff going on tomorrow so we'll see what happens. We'll see when this comes out. It might be a, a little bit a week after it comes out. I'm not sure. You guys will know. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's not important at this point. But let's just jump right into it. I have the Cure family today, which is just a family I just made right now. This completely random. This is Anderson. He will be our model for the male stuff. So it looks like they have one new hairstyle, which I am loving. I actually really like this so it comes in all the normal colors but here's what it looks like and just the random ones I'm clicking on I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna keep hmm actually I think I might have brown hair for him I think brown hair looks good on him okay so there's no new facial hair um wait is there is that the vintage no, that's City Living. Okay. Definitely not that. But I don't think he needs facial hair anyway. There are no new hats. There are one there is one new accessory and that is the glasses for the guys. Which I think this is adorable. I love these. I love these so much. Here's them in just a few of the color swatches. But I think I just like them in the ones they came in. I think that's adorable. And no new makeup. So it looks like there's two new tops. We have kind of a casual, like, I think would go into the office. By the way, I do want to say previously before this, the only thing I have watched on this stuff pack was the live stream that The Sims do every time a new uh, pack is released of any sorts so I've only seen that that's been a few weeks or like a week or two now so and they can go over like every single thing like I don't believe so I don't know so this is kind of kind of like a for me it is my first time like going into the game and looking at it but I only watched that review I didn't watch any youtubers reviews though Okay, so here it's just a couple swatches. Actually, that one's not too bad. Like, the first one was like, eh. Yeah, I think that's... Okay, well, this one's not too bad, and this one's not too bad. Those are the only two I like the color of, but the idea is cute, especially with the glasses. And looks like we have a vest. I love vest on men. Like, put... It, if my fiance would just wear a vest on our wedding day... I don't even want to wear a jacket. I just want to wear a vest. I think that would be so attractive. <laughs> oh. But I don't think he will listen to me about it. But that's a couple of the swatches. I actually kind of like... I kind of just like want to leave him in that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Looks like there's no new pants. Uh, there's a few new body outfits. So it looks like there's this one, which they said in the live streams, like, lay back to either, like, drink or use the hookah machine and, or the bubbler, as it's called in the game, um, which I absolutely adore this. Like, I would totally put him in that just to, like, relax around the house. So it looks like we have some suspenders, which is awesome. I don't, every time I wore suspenders, I always wore them down. I always got questioned about it. But I never felt comfortable in suspenders. Uh, but I think they're adorable. 
So that's all that in the color swatches. Looks like we have, this is the butler outfit. So this is uh, what your butler could be wearing if it was a male butler. And all those colors. If you order a butler, you don't really get to control their outfit. They get to have their own style. So therefore, it, like, it puts a random color in it. You don't get to choose that. Just say, um, I'm going to put him back in the shirt or after I do style looks. So let's fight for this. We have two new style looks. This is called the Dazzling Vestment. Let's see, it comes in all these colors. I think I just like the first one the best. So this one, I'll probably leave him in this one after I show the other one. Okay, so, and we also has, have this in the different colors. But I'm going to put him in that and then put, I'll put his glass back on in a minute. It looks like you have a new watch, which I can't see. Okay, let's see. Put them in the shirt for a second. Okay, so here's the new watch. Um, just It looks like just like a typical watch in my opinion. But, you know, maybe that's just me. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put his glasses back on. Alright. There we go. So I believe that was all of the stuff. Is there any shoes? Ah, is that? It looks like there are two new shoes. Which one he is already wearing? And it comes in these color swatches. And then we have some more colorful shoes. It looks like, but it has also has natural colors, which I think I like these shoes the best, honestly. So yeah, I'm going to leave him in that. So that is all the ma adult male stuff. So I will go to Amy now, which she will be our uh, adult female model. So let's put some hair on this girl. Uh, this pack comes with two new hairstyles, which this one, which I actually really love this hairstyle. But I'm using it somewhere else, so I think I may use the other one on Amy. So here is the hairstyles, and there's a few different colors. And then this hairstyle is still really cute. Um, there's a short curly do, which I can appreciate since I have short hair. And short curly do's are just sometimes hard. I'm actually going to be trying to do a short curly do for like the first time since I cut my hair like this. So I just have to see how it turns out. I don't know if I'll have enough in the back to really make it work. <laughs> Alright. But so I'm going to leave her in this. And let's see. There's no new hats. There are some new accessories for the females. Actually, quite a lot, actually. Um, so we have these earrings right here. Which comes in a ton of colors. We have the pearl drop-down, which is very classic, very elegant. We have the glasses, which we saw in the mail. And looks like we have this necklace. Which I really like this necklace. Oh my goodness. I really like this necklace. A lot, actually. And it looks like we have this necklace. Which I think I like on her. I'm going to leave that one on her. I don't know if I'll ever use it again. It's like that type thing. Like I think I would like it on her as a sim, but not like anyone else. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense or not. Okay, so for the Glamour Stuff Pack, we have two new tops, which is this one, which I actually really like. I'm actually going to shrink her stomach in so you can actually see, like, the effect. It's supposed to have, like, that corset effect from how I'm looking at it. Let me... Okay, you see how, like, that's just, like, this is obviously, like, something, and this goes under it. That just, to me, it has, like, a corset, corset effect, so I'm going like, to shrink her waist in. To give it the full effect. I actually really like this top. I think it's really cute. 
And we also have this top, which I'm not as big of a fan of. I like the back of it, but the front of it, I'm just like, eh. Right, so that's it in a few different colors, but I think I really like this. I'm going to keep her in that. And looks like we have a skirt that you can either match or mismatch with it, but it comes with it. I really like that a lot. <laughs> Um, let me see if we have any new shoes for this. Okay, so you saw the two male shoes. This is the new female shoe. It has a cute little diamond on it. I think it's adorable. It comes in a bunch of colors. But I think I just like it in the black. Now let me look at this. Okay, so you already saw the butler's outfit. But this is what it looks like. The female is basically just the same. It has the exact same color swatches as the male. So I won't even go through them. We have this dress, which is gorgeous. It has the V in the back. Like, it's not something I would wear, but I think it is absolutely, like, stunning. And we also have a new nighttime wear. I guess it doesn't have to be a nighttime wear, but I would wear it as a nighttime wear, which I think is gorgeous. Like, stunning. Like, oh my goodness. I want this. It looks so expensive. <laughs> It just does, but I'm going to back up to the outfit she had before I do style looks, because I really like that on her. So for style look, we just have the dress, it totally redid her makeup to like a full gothic makeup. Alright, and then we have this one, which... In my opinion, looks eh. Like, I can see what they're going for, but. Okay. So, oh, that is hers. Um, is there any new accessories here? Okay. There is a new bracelet. So, I'll just like take off the top for a moment to show you that. And is it also a new watch? It's like a dainty old watch. So that's that. We gotta put our shirt back on because reasons. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's everything for the adult female. Thank you, Amy, for being our assistant. Now let's go on to their children. First we have Aiden. So he will be our male king. Okay, uh, model. So they have one new hairstyle. They don't have much, but they do have a little bit. Just like in most um, of anything, really, except for the kids' room stuff pack. I was hoping after the kids' room stuff pack, they would really try to put more stuff into the, uh, uh, the stuff for kids. But nope. Nope. But oh well. So we do have this hairstyle. And that comes in all the basic kid colors. No new hats, no new accessories, no new makeup. So let's move on to clothing. They have one new shirt and it is a little jacket right here. So I think I'll leave him in the black one because why not? Um, no new full bodies, no new, new pants no new <laughs> accessories and no new shoes he literally got one item so I'll just put it. this is the style look for it these are the color combinations it comes in it's called well turned out but that is the style for that so lastly we have little Addison to help us with our female now females I have one new hairstyle which I think is absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to use this on a girl in my 100 baby challenge. Like I just cannot wait. It is going to be adorable. But I'm going to put her I think in the light brown hair. We'll make her an Adi. And no new hats, no new accessories, and no new makeup. We have no new shirts, no new pants. We do have one new dress 
as this long dress. I think it is quite adorable. Um, I think I'm going to put her in the purple. Lighter purple. We have no new accessories, no new shoes, and the style looks just are the same dress. They just come in different colors than the one I had her in. But I like that one the best. So that is the <coughs> Create a Sim part of this review. I will come back in a minute with the Build and Buy items. Alright, so we're back with the Build and Buy mode review. So, yeah. Okay, so first let's go ahead and just jump right into it and look at some of the pre-made rooms. This is the first one. It's called Quarters of Lusters. And it looks like it's a new bedroom. I personally like it in the first one the best. And that's... Yeah, that that's that room. I'm not going to place them down because this lot isn't huge. So, so this is... It looks like another bedroom. It's called Enchanting Chamber. Ooh, I really like this one. This one, yes. And it looks like we have an evening at the parlor. Uh, it looks like just a little living area. Super adorable. I really like the red a lot. And then it looks like we have a new dining room called Luffish Room. I can't say that word and if I try I will murder it so I'm not even going to try. So we have these rooms. I think I like them, this one the best. I think my favorite one out of all of them though was this. I like that a lot. Alright so let's jump into the actual stuff. So, just checking around, making sure there's no new, well, anything on the landscaping category. Um, no, I don't see anything. Okay, so it looks like we have a new door. Yeah, just a regular wall height door. And as uh, this right here, let me just like go ahead and jump that into afternoon so we get the best lighting here and we have these different patterns I actually kind of like this door. This door's kind of cool. Hey, do we have any new windows? All wall heights? Yes. We have one new window. It looks like is this. Does it have different patterns? No. It's just the same window. Okay. So, that is the new window, any new window seals, no, no new fencing, no new gates, no new railings, no new that, no new columns, alright, so, oh really, there's no new flooring, like, at all? I would expect there had been, been some flooring, huh, I thought there was wall textures, too. Oh yeah, there are two new wall textures, it looks like. So this is the first one. And just put, I'll display it in a few different colors here. The ones that I'm looking at that I think I might like. Okay, so, so far the black and the teal are my two favorite in that category. But we have another wallpaper all the less, so let's get that out um, I like the black and white best black and white and then the black on black so that's just a few of the new wall textures are you sure am I sure there's no new floors no nope. there's no new floors whatsoever so is that it okay so I will go to show all Okay, so this is all the new vintage stuff. So let's go ahead and dive right into what I'm most excited for. Or not what I'm most excited for, but like one of the things I'm most excited for is new beds. 
So let's jump into this one and pull these two beds out. I really like the second one the best, but I'll go, uh, go over the first one first because that's what came first. So these are a few of the different color swatches. Ooh, I really like this one. I actually really like this one a lot. That's a cool bed. That's a cool bed. Okay, so let's look at this bed. Um, I can definitely see using like that for the little girl or like that. I can totally see using that for the little girl. Alright, so that's are the two new beds. It looks like we have a few new seating stuff. So let's go over here. I'm going to place this new ch these new seating things out right quick. And then I'll go over them one by one. Let me just go ahead and put some more money in for them. Just so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, there we go. So, oh, I can go ahead and look at the seating now. So, it looks like with this first chair we have... It's a pretty basic chair. It just has like really nice like vintage padding. And it looks like this actually I believe does it match? Yeah, I think for the most part it matches. And then we have this couch that's not these same color swatches, but it has limited more limited ones, but yeah, that's alright. That's alright. And then we have this, I don't really know what to call these, like, I just always call them benches, but I know they're called something else. Uh, Ottoman. Ottoman is what they call them. Okay. I like it in the white, I guess. I, I don't know, I'm so basic. I'm just like, I like the white, I like the black. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so it looks like we have some new tables. I'll go ahead and place those down. Going down, 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 down. I remember when that song was so big. <laughs> Alright. This is a desk. Oh, sweet. We have a new desk. Alright. So, it looks like we have two new side tables over here. I'll just go through some of the color swatches. Oh, this is like the cart. It looks like a cart. Like, I can't use it for a cart, but, like, if you went to, like, build a biologist, you could probably put on, like, some, quote, juice or alcohol bottles on there, and it would look, like, really cool. It would look like a little, like, really fancy bar cart. This table that I'm going through the color swatches of is just, I really like the design of that, actually. Like, I really like the design of that. And it's kind of cool. It has a mirror on it. I personally w probably wouldn't use a table with a mirror on it. But that's just me. So this is this is a dining no, it's a coffee table. Okay. Ooh, I like it in the teal color. I'm just gonna keep it there. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, and the desk match, but it's a lighter color, so I don't like it as much. But this is the new desk that we have. Um, what's well, alright in the white? Now these are some new gameplay objects. Uh, we have vanities. Which I'm really excited about because growing up I have a vanity and I absolutely loved it. Like, I literally used that thing until it could not stand anymore. Um, I like this one over here. The first one I'm going through the best. Um, I'll actually probably put that in my Lesbian Lover One Your Baby Challenge at some point. I don't know when, but at some point. At some point. So we have this right here, and this looks like it's definitely a little bit older styled. Um, this one's more new style, but it still has like the older vintage vibe. But this one's definitely completely just like completely vintage. <laughs> you know? You know. But like I said, I like this one better. I'm also really excited to try this. This is a new object, which is a globe. Which I've been wanting glo new globes for so long, like really big globes. Like I've been wanting one. Put in the corner. How much is this? Just like, oh sweet, it's only three hundred and ten dollars. Nice. Uh, but it's also a bar. Like the top of the globe lifts up and it's a bar, and like kids can like spin it, and like there's a chance that it'll like break the glass. It's just so cool. I really love this object. That that was like the sealed deal. 
Like, I was already like, oh, yay, ooh, butlers. Like, okay, well, butlers was the seal deal. But when it came to the stuff part, like, before I knew it had butlers, I was like, oh, well, the vanities are kind of cool. And then I saw this bar, and I was like, yes, I have to get that. That is perfect. Like, I don't want, like, an actual bar in my Lesbian Liberal Hungry Challenge. Like, that's obvious a bar. But this is, I've been wanting a globe to put in, like, the computer area. And it's just, like, I can sneak in a bar at the same time. And it'll be great. I love it. I mean, not that, like, Haley can really drink because she's pregnant all the time. But, you know. <laughs> details. Minor details. So, it looks like we have a new flower centerpiece. Which I am loving this, actually, is a super pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think I like this one the best. But that's some new flowers. Now let's move over here. Nope, I'll just stick it over here. Never mind, I built that wall for no reason. But, let's look at this new painting. I've actually looked at it while I was doing a build so this isn't my first reaction to this painting but most of the stuff I didn't look at I think like the painting was one of the only things that and the centerpiece I'm seeing down here but it has three new new paintings that are supposed to all represent some kind of star obviously that one's Marilyn Monroe <laughs> it looks like we also have a new mirror which I really like this mirror. Like, what behave if I size it up? And you can size up things using, uh, the, uh, FN and the right bracket key. It looks like this one doesn't, uh, size up correctly, which is so sad. I was actually really wanting to use this, but, you know. Let me go ahead and also put, I don't really put sheets on before I even show things. Off, but I just forgot this time. My bad, you guys. So turn on the control. Control system BB dot move objects on, and it looks like we also have some new mirrors. So I'm gonna need a higher wall, so I'm gonna make this wall higher. There we go, and I'll use this side of it, I guess. <laughs> so we have some new mirrors. Um, we that are all the same style, just in different wall heights. Which is always, always appreciated. So let's go through the color swatches. Def I like the blue one. I think I just like the solid black the best, but the red and white's kind of cool too. But let's do the purple one too. And we have some new curtains. We actually have two different versions of the curtains. So, we have one that has this lacy detail on the end It's maybe a little bit more fancy, and then we have some more plain ones. And they're each, like, they come separate so you can mix max and, like, overlay them however, which is really handy. I really like that when they came with the, um, uh... I can think of it, movie stuff at. I was really happy to get those curtains. I'm really happy to get more because sometimes those curtains just don't work as well as you plan to. I don't really like these as much, but I do like these plain ones over here. Like, I do like that. Looks like we have some more stuff that requires tables. So let's go back over here. We have this dragon head that looks like um, the dragon from like Asia, the Asian culture. Um, and it looks like we have it in a few different styles. I don't know, I probably like that one the best. I don't know why, I just like it the best. So I'm going to stick with it. It looks like we have some new bathroom products, which, yeah, we needed that. Like, more just like miscellaneous decoration to like fancy stuff up always very very appreciate it in my opinion because like why do builds like I like to have a little bit of clutter everywhere I don't like just to, like leave stuff you know I like to make it look realistic so this rug I'm super excited about actually 
Um, I really want to put this down in my lesbian lover on your baby challenge house. Like so badly in the office. Um, is there a black color though? I'm not really seeing black. There's white. I guess a white one will do. I was hoping to have it in black, but oh well. So let's just leave it at the that one for now. The brown one. And it looks like we also have a fuzzy rug. I actually might use this instead. This would be about the right size. I'm not sure. Off to the side, but it's like it's uh, they made sure to say on the thing that it was supposed to be like fake fur, flax fur rug. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that means fake. So uh, don't freak out. Be like, oh, they have a fur rug. It's okay. And looks like there's also a new fireplace. So let's come over here to show that. Ooh, I actually really like this fireplace. When you look at this, yeah, I like this fireplace. I like this fireplace a lot. I'm super happy about it. So I will also probably be using that at some point. Okay, so this is like, in my opinion, would be a room divider. So that's what I'm going to call it. Is that what they call it? Okay, yeah, they just call it a divider. So it comes in a few different colors. So that's all the colors it comes in. Of course, again, I'm just going to be basic. I like the black. Black's one of my favorite colors, legit, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm just like, oh, I like black. I like black. I like the black. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. And so we can look at the new lamps. Now, personally, I like this lamp better. But, yeah, maybe that's just me. But I actually really like this lamp. I would totally use this. Definitely in the red. Like, I might just sneak that into Haley's room somehow. I like that. I like that a lot. There's also this one, which I think... I think they said in the live stream um, was a part of the, another Sims game. I don't know if they said Sims 2 or Sims 3. I don't remember the Sims 3, but again, I didn't get. I didn't really have a chance to like look into all the packs. Like I'm getting to do for Sims 4, so. But it's supposed to be like I believe like a giraffe uh, lamp. I think it's really cute. Hey, there's also this, which looks like it's just like a little box. Like, yeah, I could see that being left in like a bathroom in like the corner. It's super cute. And let's scroll down, let's see what's next. Looks like there's also a new lamp. Ooh, yeah, scroll up, see this one. I like this lamp. I actually would totally buy this for in real life. Like, just yes. Um, again, black and white. So it looks like there's also a new chandelier. I don't know if I'll be able to like really place that. Oh, I guess I will. Okay. So this is the new chandelier. And also, oh yeah. I should have questioned that I'd be able to place it because uh, they said this is the first chandelier they had in the game that literally you can put anything under and it will still work and it won't get in the way. Which is very appreciated because like I have done so many builds that like, I wanted to use a certain light but I couldn't because it wasn't functional. So Sims Team, thank you. Thank you very much. Not that anyone in Sims Team would be watching this but yeah. Alright, so we also have one more wall item, which I love this. It is a sun clock. I think this is amazing and epic. So here is this and all the different patterns. 
But yeah, I, I just like it in general, so I'm not saying which I like better because I just like all of it. So let's go over here to the last two items. These last two items and then the review will be over, you guys. And you'll just have to watch part two if you want more. So here we have a new chest drawer and a new wardrobe. I'm pretty sure this isn't interactable, which... So it's because now, anytime I see a wardrobe since I came out of the closet, I want it to be interactable. But I know it probably won't be. So these are all the color swatches. It comes in. Um, I, ooh, I, I like the teal and black. I like that a lot. I actually like that better than the white and black for once. Woo! Finally, a color, a bed that I don't, won't just, or not bed that I just want black on black. So these come in the same color palette. So I'm just gonna put there. And guys, that is the end of this review. Um, I think if, well, I think just because it has butlers, which I will get part in into in part two when I do the gameplay review. Uh, I think it's worth it. But I think for a stuff pack, like it has a good amount of build items. Um. Again, as always, disappointed with the lack of kid items, um, but, you know, hopefully they'll come out with a Generations, uh, thing, and that will just, like, help a lot. But, for the vintage stuff back, um, I like a lot of the content, I really like this, the beds, I really like, I think the only thing I really didn't like that much was the seating, and except for the, um, of course, even though I read it, I can't remember it. Odman, Odman, o Ottoman, Ottoman. I need to learn that word. Um, that's about the only thing I really like. Besides the Ottoman, I just didn't really like the seating. Um, I wasn't a really big fan of the two like bathroom type stuff. But it's okay. Like, I'm glad to get more, but I wasn't a big fan. Everything else I asked, besides wall textures, okay, I don't like wall textures either, but on things that you can place that aren't wall textures, about the only thing I didn't like was the seating, except for the ottoman, and a few of the table items. But other than that, I actually really liked, uh, I don't, I don't like the curtains with the thing. Okay, I'm just all over the place, but anyway, so that's, I would buy it. And I did buy it, but, <laughs> you know, the only stuff pack I don't have is Cool ch Kitchen, so, and it probably says something. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff, because you guys are awesome people, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye!